Hey guys, Denise here with Print Aura. Today I'm going to be showing you how to submit a manual order or how to submit a sample order. They're both the same thing. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you're signed into your account. So I'm already signed into mine, so the next thing I want to do is hover over here where it says orders and click submit manual order. So like I said before, the manual order and the sample order are done the same way. If you want to order a sample of the product to see what your customers are getting, you can do it this way. It's the same thing. So the first thing it's going to ask you for is your business name. And mine's already been filled in because I have my brand information filled out. If it's not filled in for you, you can just enter it here or you can go fill out your brand information. So it asks for your business name, your business contact name, and your email. And it will also auto-populate your return label information here. You can change it if you need to by clicking right here. So the next thing it's going to ask you for is your order details. So the order ID is just for your reference and it will appear on your order packing slip. So you can really write whatever you want here. I usually write something that describes the item. So the item that I'm going to order today is going to be a t-shirt with a bear on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in bear t-shirt. Now you can use a number, you can use words, it doesn't really matter, it's just something to help you identify your order. So the next thing it will ask for is your shipping address. So if you are submitting a manual order and you want it shipped to yourself, you would put your address here. If you want your order shipped to someone else, then you would enter their address here. You can also enter a phone number if you want to. You don't have to unless it's an international order. So the next thing it will ask for is a packing slip. If you don't have one, it's no big deal. We do generate one for you automatically, but if you have one that you want sent specifically, you can upload it here. So the next part is actually choosing the item that you want to order. You should have already decided which item you want to order, both the brand, the product name, the color, the size, and all of that. If you haven't decided yet, you should open up a new tab and look through all of our items to choose one. So today I'm going to order a Bella Canvas flowy racerback tank. And the color I want to order it in is white and the size I chose is a medium. And then it'll ask you for the quantity and I just want to order one. And then at this point you need to select the front print. The front print is the actual image that you want printed on the shirt. So you can just go ahead and click select and this is the image that I want printed so I'm going to click on it. And then it'll ask me for the front mock-up. The front mock-up is the picture that shows where you want the print on the t-shirt. So I'm going to select my mock-up right here. And then it'll ask me to do the same thing here for the back. If you have a back print, you just go through the same steps. You upload the image that you want printed on your shirt here, and then you upload the mock-up here. I only want the front of my shirt printed, so I'm just going to leave this blank. And then it'll tell me the cost of my shirt over here on the far right. Now if I scroll down, it will ask me for which shipping method I want to use, and your two options are priority or first class. I'm just going to go ahead and choose the first class shipping. It's cheaper and I don't really need it that soon. So the next thing it's going to ask me is if I want the neck brand label removed. It costs 50 cents. It's not an expensive thing to have done, but I'm just ordering this for myself, so I don't need it removed. It's going to ask me if I want the shirt individually bagged. It costs a dollar. Again, it's not that much, but I'm just ordering it for myself, so I'm still going to say no. It's going to ask me if I want it to be a rush order. And I'm not really in a hurry, so I'm going to leave that as no as well. And then all you have to do is click Submit Order. And at that point, your order will be processed. So all you have to do is go in and pay for it, and it will get sent out. That's really all there is to it, guys. Thanks so much for listening. Have a great day. Bye.